Welcome to the Film Florida podcast. My name is John Lux, and I'm the executive director of Film Florida. Today, our guest is Ann Russell. Ann is the program director for Full Sail University's Film Production MFA program. Thanks for joining us on the podcast today, Ann. That's great to be here. So let's jump right into your backstory, your origin story. How did you get your start in the industry? So I discovered filmmaking when I lived in Germany. I moved there after high school and uh, happened to work for a makeup artist um, who had invited me to come to set and work as an extra. And I was really fascinated with the process of um, filmmaking. Um, And that's sort of how I discovered my love for it. Um, And I studied for a few years in Germany and then decided to come back to the States and got accepted into the University of Southern California's film production MFA program. So I attended that university. Um, And after After that, I started uh, working for a company that had a two-picture deal with MGM at the time, and we were working on their tentpole feature, Outer Limits, which was based on the television series. And we got all the way through pre-production, and they and MGM was sold to Sony, and so all of their features that year got got trashed. Um, So it was a a very early lesson on (laughs) on the um, mercurial nature of filmmaking. Um, After that, I was about the time when when reality television was really taking off, and I saw an opportunity there to get to direct much quicker than I was seeing a path towards in filmmaking. So I segued over into reality television and ended up, you know, 20 years almost working in reality. I've worked on shows like Dancing with the Stars. Um, I was a story producer for Dancing with the Stars. I produced um, on The Bachelor, The Bachelorette. I was a producer on Hogan Knows Best and some MTV True Lives and all of that. So I did that for the bulk of my career. And is that what brought you back to Central Florida from California? So I I had never been to Florida <laughs> prior to coming here for work. I was actually brought out here by a local production company at the time. They were their name was Pink Sneakers Productions. And it was during me living here in Orlando and working that I first discovered Full Sail. And the reason why I did an MFA program rather than just going to work in the industry was knowing that at some point I would be interested in teaching and segueing into teaching. So that was always in the back of my mind. And so I had full sail. I watched it grow. That was that I moved to Florida originally in 2005 and it was just an itty bitty little school at that point, but I was really impressed with what they were doing. And so I kind of just kept my eye on it for another couple of years. And then, you know, at one point, I think in 2010, I decided, okay, I want to really kind of settle down. I'm a little tired of moving cross country back and forth, which I'd done for basically five years prior from 20, 2005 to 2010 and just got tired of that. So I really was excited when I got the opportunity to teach here at Full Sail. So how did you start? I mean, I, right now you're you're the head of the program, but <laughs> is that how you started at Full Sail? No, no. So I originally was hired to help develop um, and launch a, a new program that they had at the time, which was the Creative Writing MFA program. So I was actually the second instructor to be hired and um, and helped really oversee some of the curriculum development for that program um, as we were launching it. I taught in that program for two years, and then the position opened up to actually be the head of the film bachelor's program. And when that opportunity came up, I I really couldn't pass it up. I mean, I love writing, and it was very rewarding to work in creative writing, but first and foremost, production is my passion. So it it was... It was an awesome opportunity to get to really kind of step into the role of leadership over there. And um, so I did that for three years, and then they tapped me to take over um, the new film production MFA program, which I've now been at it for years. For those that aren't from Central Florida and haven't been around Full Sail, you had mentioned the evolution of the university through the years since you first uh, came upon it. Talk about the early days where Full Sail was a little bit of a niche place to its status now of being one of the top universities in our industry nationwide. Absolutely. You know, Full Sail was started 40 years ago, and it really began as a, a dream to create a place where people could learn to take their passion for entertainment and turn it into a career. And um, it started with music and sound, but 
our dream really kind of grew to fit the dreams of our students until it was way bigger than we could have imagined. And now it really encompasses the entertainment industry fully. I mean, it's film, entertainment, media, design, technology. Um, We've just really grown over the years. And, you know, at this point now, we've had over 65,000 plus graduates of the school. So, you know, it's, it might have started out small, but with time and growth, we've really kind of come to include and to encompass all of these entertainment facets. Now, speaking specifically about the MFA program that you're the director of, talk a little bit about the program at Full Sail. Absolutely. So again, we were started almost six years ago. Um, It is a 12-month program. It's a terminal degree, which means that it's the highest degree that you can get in film production. And our focus here in the MFA program is really on the above the line roles. So it's really producer, writer, and director. So for our students, we cover basic fundamentals of production. They learn all the roles. They learn all of the the aspects, uh, the different departments that are within filmmaking, but their focus is really on the content, writing the content, you know, then directing and producing it. So that's the focus of our program. And and even though we're so young, we've had incredible success. In 2017, we had a film called Magic Mouse that was nominated for the Best Comedy Category for the Television Academy Foundation, which is huge. And we're just really seeing a lot of successes in film festivals and in in our students getting work. So um, we're really excited about, about the program. Now, I live 30 minutes away from Full Sail, so I'm in the area, but I'm not on campus on a regular basis like you are. Every time I'm there, there's something new and different. (laughs) Talk about the ever-expanding campus, and and it seems like things that were relatively new are already being upgraded and changed. Talk about how things like that happen. Uh, For sure. I think Full Sail started one building. Now we're up to over 110 studio and production environments we're massive. We have over 112 plus acres uh, on which our students work and learn. It's just phenomenal how much it's grown. Even this year, um, something very new, they've just announced plans to unveil what's called the Fortress, which is going to be the largest collegiate esports arena on any college campus in the U.S. Um, We also have a world-class Dolby approved dubbing stage um, that's really one of a kind. It's just an amazingly magical place both to work and to and to provide for our students. You just mentioned a couple of, of aspects, but what do you feel kind of sets Full Sail apart from other institutions, whether it be Florida or, or nationwide or even, you know, worldwide? Every university kind of has its thing. What do you think Full Sail's is? Absolutely. I mean, we're very lucky to be in Orlando. Um, I think Orlando is an amazing place to learn about filmmaking. We've got some incredible universities here with some incredible film programs. I think what sets Full Sail apart is a number of things. I think in one part, it's our accelerated programs. Um, most, you know, most national MFA programs can be anywhere between two and four years. Ours is one year long. We have an incredible career development team, a really great career development team that is there for the life of the student. So a student could decide to to go trek around the Himalaya mountains for 10 years and come back and say, I'm looking for a film job. And and our career development team will help them get their resume prepared and will um, we'll help them with that. Another great thing about our, our school is that grads can audit any classes within their program as long as they want. So what's cool about that is let's say that a new technology were to come out, a new editing software or a new camera, and we were to teach that software or technology or anything else, maybe if there was something else evolving within our industry and we evolved a class for that, our film students could come back at any time in their careers and audit it for free. So that's kind of very, very unique. And then I would say lastly, our industry leaders who teach here and the technology that we provide our students are really are what set us apart and help to explain why we were you know, voted one of the top 50 film schools by Rap Magazine this year. And you mentioned a little bit about the accelerated program, and uh, many probably don't know 
what that really means um, in terms of what Full Sail offers their students. Talk a little bit about the timeline of a, a typical student and a graduate as compared to other colleges or universities. It's interesting because oftentimes when people hear accelerated programs, they mean that it's somehow less they're getting less or learning less than they would at a traditional school. That's actually not the case. We do the same amount. We just do it in a much more compact way. So if you enroll at Full Sail, we are going to have a new semester, a new class every month. So our classes are four weeks in length and they're much more intensive. And, you know, a regular university, you might be only in a class three times a week for two hours, or maybe it's three times a week at four hours. Here they're in school, in the master's program specifically, for 19 hours each week, so 76 total hours in class in a month. And in doing so, compacting that schedule gets them the same, if not more hours than they would in a traditional school, but the calendar shrinks on them. So if a student is more interested in getting through school and getting out into the workforce, you guys are a really good fit for them. Exactly. They're getting the same credit hours, course content hours as they're getting anywhere else. It's just compacted from a semester that would be three to four months down into one month um, and gets them out into the workforce much, much quicker. So one other thing that we always talk about here on the podcast, and you've actually mentioned it a couple times already, so it's a good segue, is the importance of technology. Talk about the role of technology in the Full Sail MFA program or in the university as a whole. It's important that universities provide experience on the technology that they're going to be com- they're going to be coming across in the industry. Having said that, um, our program as well as all good programs, are going to focus really on the theory, understanding why we make the decisions that we make. The technology will always play second fiddle to the theory, but by giving our students the amount of technology that we do, we're really removing all their barriers for learning that they might get in that learning curve out in the industry. So we give them access to the technology so that they don't have to learn out in the field. We provide multitudes of different types of cameras, whether it's Sony, whether it's Aerie Alexas, uh, Canon cameras. They're going to get access to everything that they need in order to learn the theory so that regardless of what they come across and as technology changes, because, you know, in five years from now, it's completely different. You know, when I was in grad school, we were still learning emulsion film. So, so things will change. We know it will change. The theory will give them the ability to adapt for the future. The technology provides them the quick ability to get on set and know how to work with what's there currently. So in essence, you're teaching them the, the theory behind what they're going to do and teaching them that the story is the important thing, and then the technology just allows them to execute the theories and the story in the proper manner. Exactly. (laughs) Very perfectly stated there, John. (laughs) Well, it it makes total sense because I have a lot of of history with that in my, my prior work in focusing on the story as opposed to jumping right into how are we going to shoot it, how are we going to edit yes. it. It's more about the story, and then the tools will allow you to tell that story the proper way. So, Absolutely. So that's the wonderful thing about Full Sail is you're really getting both. If you don't get access to the technology, there's just that learning curve once you get out there. I mean, that learning curve will always be there. But we're providing them the access. And to be honest, what they have here at Full Sail is, I mean, we're just so proud of it. I'm so proud of it because you don't want to set the curve at a university because you want the industry to set the curve, right, of what they're going to take next and what they're going to use next. But as soon as they adapt it, we adapt it. And that's what's really cool. And every time I'm out at Full Sail, I enjoy being there because – there's something new. There's you can you can feel the learning environment, and and that's I think the most important thing uh, when you're going on a, a campus is to feel that it's an environment that's inviting to learn and to engage and and take that next step in somebody's career. And I think that's really important that you, that is is really felt at Full Sail. 
I found the exact same thing when I came here. Because they focus on entertainment industry, the projects are coming together as a result of a team effort, these multiple people using their individual skills towards a common vision. They're accessing other departments, other teams on campus. You know, there's the computer animation students, work the film students who work with the, with the scoring, you know, recording art students. And so no matter where you go, it's just such a, a wonderful place to meet like-minded people who are all trying to achieve the goal of making great content for the entertainment industry. And that's exciting. It's exciting to be able to find those people on campus and to, to be able to do that common work together. And another thing that I notice with Full Sail is you guys do a wonderful job of telling the success stories and getting that message out there of the graduates and what they're doing postgraduate and getting into the industry. Talk a little bit about the philosophy of those success stories and how proud you are of those, those stories that you hear from your graduates. So Full Sail is humbled by the success of our graduates um, and their contributions for the industry. And our graduates have worked behind the scenes on some of the world's most well-known corporations and widely acclaimed releases. Um, Our graduate credits include work on Oscar, Emmy, Grammy, Addy, MTV Video Music Awards, and VGX Video Game Awards uh, nominated and winning projects. This year, for example, one of our graduates, Gary Rizzo, who won the 2011 Oscar for Best Achievement in Sound Mixing for Inception, won his second Oscar in 2018 in the same category for Dunkirk. Um, so we're, and he actually, funny enough, he mentioned us in his thank you speech, you know, that little time they have on, you know, up on stage, which was just um, amazing. I think the, we always hold an, a, a party here for, you know, events like the um, Oscars and stuff. And um, I was there this year, and when he won, you should have seen the, off- <laughs> the students, just everybody just shot up and screaming, and, oh, my God, he just mentioned Paul Oh, my God, he just pulled up, you know. Yeah, yeah it, was, it was pretty crazy. Um, and this, you know, this past year, this past Academy Award, um, we had a total of 121 graduates credited on 25 Oscar-nominated films. Um, we had 28 graduates credited on, the, on eight of the Oscar-winning films. So it's something that we're very, very humbled um, and proud of all of their hard work. And it also is something that's great for our students because it lets them see what can be, you know, what's on the other side of that degree. Um, and that's always really exciting for them. That will do it for this episode of the Film Florida Podcast. Thanks to Ann Russell for joining us. And of course, thank you for listening. To learn more about Full Sail University, visit fullsail.edu. That's fullsail.edu. And of course, for more information about Film Florida, go to filmflorida.org and visit our social media pages on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and LinkedIn. And of course, don't forget to subscribe, rate, and review the podcast.